around 230 miles east of city of Aurangabad lies an extraordinary monolithic temple well known as Ellora. Even with the technology that we have today, it would take several years to build a monolithic structure of this scale. Then, how did a civilization believed to be snake charmers by the West build such a beautiful and sophisticated structure? The answer is very simple. Ancient Hindu Indian civilization had superior technology than that of one we have right now. This technology had power to melt rocks and carve them into a design and a structure. Much like a 3D printer that carves out a shape out of a blunt form, this technology had prowess of making 3D printing possible with rocks. In Vedas, the holy text of Hindus, it's mentioned that an astra or instrument sometimes referred as weapon was available with the ancient Hindu race. It's called Bahamastra. Something that can melt rocks and bring shapes and structure out of it. So, what happened to this technology now? Many technologies like these are believed to be hidden in the secret treasure vaults like Ananta Padmanava Swami Temple in the city of Thiruvananthapuram or the state of Kerala in India. Weapons are not new to the land of India or Bharatvarsha, the original name refers to. Scores of accounts of weapons are mentioned in tales and fables of old folklore. It's mentioned in Shiva Puran and other holy texts and Mahabharata that a weapon of mass destruction was used, killing hundreds and thousands of men at once. Many nuclear bombs being detonated. Heat-seeking missiles are mentioned in Mahabharata and motion sensor missiles known as Narayanastra, which is weapon used by Lord Vishnu or granted to some devotee or disciple on the account of great penance is said to be a lethal motion sensor multi-level missile system which is designed to eliminate any moving object in its path and guidance. Heat-seeking missiles were mentioned in Mahabharata and Pashupathastra, a missile that divides itself into seven different stages to eliminate a big target is mentioned in Vedas and ancient holy texts. The question is, how did an ancient race come in possessing such deadly weapons of mass destruction? If so, what happened when they used them on each other? The answer lies in the southern state of Pakistan, once part of ancient India, now a state trying to find its identity for the last 75 years. An ancient city lies here in ruins, known as Mohanjadaro. A civilization cherished once this very city having some modern amenities like sewer systems and bathrooms and drainage systems but got perished in a climatic event that was triggered by a weapon like this. Akshay Patra, a vessel that can give infinite foot, Pushpaka Vimana, an aircraft that can accommodate any number of travelers and travels to any location the pilots wish in their hearts and still have a place for one more. As Shiva Dhanush and Hapirian bow which refer to unlimited number of energy arrows shooting from the bow, Shamatakmani, a necklace embedded with precious stones capable of producing many precious jewels like giving birth to new stones every time its master commands it to do. All these refer to very advanced artificial intelligence enabled nanobot integrated systems which have capability and capacity to rebuild at a very fast scale and accommodate at the wish of masters. This is a startling proof of advanced nanotechnology where nanobots keep acting in ways guided by artificial intelligence in the ancient literature. Our journey as a YouTube channel is not just to research and publish about ancient heritage and technology they had, but also to let the present generation develop ideas that are helpful in shaping the present and the future of this planet. The nuclear technology and the nanotechnology holds answer to our pollution problem. Great amount of research is being carried on nuclear fusion technology, which might be key to long-term energy sustainability of the present civilization. Nanotechnology holds key to health and medical benefits, which includes treatment of cancer and other ailments. It can also be used 
as algae that will eat the disposed plastic in the oceans which is in millions these days our quest doesn't end with mentioning of ancient technology in ancient literature after all what good is any strategy technology or a video or a plan if it's not becoming part of our present day present day life to enhance it subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos like this thank you